Hey, what's up guys? This is Vince from Wim Place. Uh, just wanted to share with you uh, my current builds. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about how you're building your Avengers in the Marvel's Avengers game. So I just wanted to share with you, uh, starting with my favorite uh, character to use is Iron Man. Uh, before we get into that, please, if any of our videos has helped you out or if you liked any of them, please do like, comment, and share. And please do hit that subscribe button as well if you can to support uh, what we do. But yeah, Iron Man is my favorite. It takes a while to get used to him, uh, especially in the beginning when you're not used to flying around. I actually hated him in the beginning. He was uh, When I was doing the campaign, he was the one I dreaded using, especially with a campaign where it's solo and everyone, all the enemies are pretty much focusing on you. And when you die, you have to wait for your AI that isn't really intelligent to possibly come save you and whatnot. So it's a bit difficult when you're playing solo. But once you start playing multiplayer, it, it opens up a whole world of coolness. Not to mention once you start leveling up and getting all the skills that you need, not to mention the gear. I'm not going to talk about the gear because the gear is so random. And honestly, I'm not a fan of the gearing up, powering up system because it's, it's it, I don't know, it, it's not as great as compared to other games I've played where you get cool gear and it reflects, it, you see it visually, at the same time you really feel it. So instead, uh, I think what's more important is the leveling up when you're doing the campaign, uh, what skills you get for Iron Man, and not to mention how to use Iron Man. Uh, for me, Iron Man, especially when, when you're playing multiplayer, it's so cool because you can pretty much just sit back. You become an archer. Uh, you are the ranged guy who stays afar. In fact, that's go. So pretty much you just uh, stay back, set your weapon to rocket, and you just shoot from afar. Uh, once you have your position up, so your range damage just goes up, and you pretty much, the, the easy uh, enemies, you one-hit them. And the bigger enemies, as long as they don't have a shield, usually there will be some sort of knockback or whatnot, and you pretty much, uh, you have them trapped where they can't really do much, they can't move much. Even if it's the, even if it's the, the big android, uh, uh, or the tougher enemies, sometimes there's always a knockback with your rockets. The rockets have been my favorite because literally you can go really far back, re really far away from everything. You can shoot them and they are very likely to die or deal massive damage. Uh, you can see where you can go to the repulsors, they still do okay damage, uh, especially when you're fighting melee. I love using the shield eventually when you get to the harder the harder places to fight, like the vaults or the hives. Uh, what happens is I put out the shield, I hide behind it, and I just sneak out and shoot them. <laughs> So that's one thing you can do. Uh, it could get a bit cheesy because it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of too easy at times. Uh, but that's pretty much what you're going to be. You're going to be DPS, you're going to be shooting from afar. You're, you're very squishy. You don't have a lot of defense. So in fact, if you get surrounded by melee, if, you, if, if you're somehow on the ground, uh, if they knock you out of the air, you're on the ground, and melee enemies come towards you, you're pretty much done for. So it's kind of nice to just put up a shield, stay far away, sneak out, and shoot people. Or the other thing I do is I put out the shield, so especially if there's a lot, so at least I know from this side I'm safe, and then I shoot the enemies on this side, is sort of what I do. Uh, I will show you now the... Again, this is the gear. We won't look at the gear. Uh, but the skills that I have... Uh, for the primary, you'll pretty much get... Eventually, once you get up to level 50, you'll get everything there. Uh... If you're still working your way up, again, I recommend rockets. Rockets are the most powerful. Uh, I wouldn't even bother with the uh, with the flares or the uh, or this smart rockets, as you can see. I wouldn't even bother with that. I would just get the one. Uh, my, my picture is covering it, but pretty much I would just get the ability to shoot rockets over here, which are the top two. Uh, actually, not even the top two, just the first one. The rest, 
yeah, the rest are sort of power attacks that you don't really need. They're more for melee. So once you get the first one, you're good for the rockets. And the other thing you'll want to get are in specialty, which is, uh, I'm sorry, in mastery for ranged. Uh, this is one of my favorites where it, for here, you, as you can see, it increases your rocket damage as well as uh, adds target guidance system. That one, that one you get. That one, once you get that, you are set. So once uh, you sort of just hover your aim towards whoever you're shooting at and you have a guidance system that'll pretty much follow them. Similar to some of the rockets that the enemies shoot towards us, towards you and me, where it follows you wherever. Uh, this isn't quite as good where it follows you all the way around stuff. I think the enemies was a bit better. But still, once you get this, you are set for rockets and just increase the rocket's uh, damage. So that, as you can see, for my ranged attacks, I point all on rockets. There will be times um, I have seen a few people uh, like to go with lasers. Uh, the lasers, um, let's go to lasers right now. They are nice sometimes when you are fighting melee because if you are in the middle of crowds, it will hit all of them. Uh, especially when you're using these heavy attacks like that. As you can see, it goes all around. You can see the damage is a bit light. It's not quite uh, killing him. It took a while. Uh, so that's the problem with the lasers. And then the other thing is, sometimes uh, I like using lasers if there's a big dreadbot, those giant four-legged things. And I just sort of, if I can sit back, if I have teammates who are meleeing, punching away at him, I can sit back and sometimes I'll put my laser out because uh, I one of the skills of lasers if it's focused on a, an enemy for a long time especially like a dreadbot the big ones if you can focus it on them easily because they, they're pretty big if you have it focused on them for a while the damage supposedly goes up uh, but I wouldn't use it as much uh, if you have your mastery skills set on rockets like I do so most of my mastery skills are set on rockets as compared to going here where see you can increase the damage of lasers uh so your lasers might not be as strong but once in a while i'll switch it to lasers and just shoot from afar but again the, your main thing with iron man is you stay afar and you shoot rockets uh the other thing you might want to power up as you can see for my intrinsic abilities are uh well one is the arc reactor generator uh that way your regeneration speed uh, of your intrinsic energy uh, which you shoot with goes up faster this other thing for the intrinsic ability i use uh helps with stunning this one for the overcharge i guess uh, those ones i guess you could change around depends how you play uh for the rocket base let me see what else is important here oh for this one the energy barrier will now reflect projectiles back i like using this one uh, that way, again, when I use my uh, my shield, and I use the shield a lot, especially when I was doing hives where you couldn't die, the mega hives and whatnot. So I would just find the corner, especially when you're indoors, when you're in a building doing the hives or the vaults. Uh, there's not a lot of pla far places you can fly away to, so you kind of want to put up that shield and just shoot around it. Uh, I w I'm still debating between this where it reflects back, and I believe... Uh, and the other two choices, this one, where it regenerates 5% per second of intrinsic energy, that way your rockets can power up again. Or this one where heroes near the energy barrier gain 15% critical. So you can play around with that. I like where it just bounces back, that way if anyone shoots me, they get a taste of their own medicine. Uh, but I am debating, I might try this 15% um, once in a while. Uh, you can't see it on my screen, but on the far right of the utility for the mastery, uh, there's three choices. I put mine on countermeasures. Uh, that way when you're uh, flying, it's the middle one, just in case you want to know. Uh, because when you're flying and those guided missiles come towards you, this is the best way to avoid them. And again, you're very squishy. So I put it here. Because the other choices are um, this where it adds 15%. And what I found out is it says when you're while you're flying. And this means not when you're hovering, it means when you're flying straight. So I rarely shoot when I'm flying straight forward. I'm usually hovering. Uh, so this air superiority doesn't actually affect your damage when you're just hovering. So this is not really needed, at least in my build. 
And the other choice here is where you get to fly faster, which is great and all, but I mean, I'd rather just not die and not get hit. So, uh, for combat, uh, I believe most of these are for melee, so it really, again, for Iron Man, you wouldn't want to melee much. Uh, uh, and in fact, the few times I take down, I have my, most of my other heroes, I have it where when you do take downs, it spawns heroic orbs so that I can keep, especially Captain America, so he can keep using the Brooklyn Brawler, keep hitting uh, and whatnot. But for Iron Man, I actually have it on uh, uh, health packs because he's very squishy. Like one hit and like half his life is gone or more sometimes, especially when you have it on difficulty four on uh, the brutal difficulty. So I have him, the few times he does take down, sometimes I'll spot someone on the ground with uh, that uh, take down ability available. Uh, and I'll, I'll take them down. That way at least there's a few re uh, regen packs, health packs that I can jump towards in case it's needed. Uh, but the cool part about the combat is you should get this. The 15% reduction to intrinsic energy meter. Uh, that way when you're shooting your... Uh, your rockets it won't be as costly so that is the last one there uh, for the specialties um, I guess that also usually you want to power up the middle ones uh, because those ones are usually the best or well not the best but I mean as compared to the ones on the left and right where you choose one of the three so it depends but as compared to the middle one usually just it powers up that uh, heroic ability all the way uh, This is your support hero heroic ability. Um, I like putting it this one. I really like using because now uh, When I'm in trouble while I'm flying I set out this sort of arc field uh, the shield and everything that people shoots at me uh, Gets blocked and there's even I believe there's the ability where it gets sent back to them um, so Yes, so I chose this heroic specialization where it puts out a force field around Iron Man so he can just shoot as compared to the others where you're in the overcharged state and all that. Uh, so when you're dealing with bosses, what I like to do is I like to shoot all my rockets out until my, as you can see, my intrinsic meter, until it runs out. And then I will, well, I can't do it right now in the, this hard room. But, but after that, that's when I will press L1 or LB for Xbox users, and that will put out this uh, arc field. At the same time, it gives me an overcharge, so it recharges my my uh, uh, intrinsic bar, so that way I can just keep shooting again, especially when it's down to zero. Uh, and then after that, that's when I'll put out the Hulkbuster <laughs> when I'm out of out of both of those, and I, I fully put out all my rockets, all my the damage that I could put out at the moment. So that is pretty much the main thing. I'm trying to see if there's anything that uh, I need to discuss. Uh, but just in case you're curious, uh, I... Oh, so here we go. Um, so I powered up that arc field where everything shot at me gets reflected back as well. So, uh, and then for the Assault Heroic abilities, I chose to where the Unibeam is stronger. Uh, it's just one shot. Uh, uh, that's up to you. Uh, the other ones I've been... I've been Debating whether I should switch to it, where you get an extra shot of the of the Unibeam or this one where the Unibeam's duration lasts longer. For me, I just have one powerful shot. I, I'd rather use it on some bosses. Uh, at the same time, over here, Unibeam deals more damage because I have the one shot over here. Uh, where he does like a triple shot with his hands and his chest. Uh, and then I add it to the damage of that. So, so that way, it's just one strong shot of that. Uh, for my... Uh, ultimate for my Hulkbuster, uh, I chose to have it go with the extra missiles. At the same time, I chose to have it go with um, these 10 more seconds of having the Hulkbuster. When you put out the Hulkbuster, you want to keep hitting with melee. Uh, just keep hitting square or I believe X for Xbox uh, until your intrinsic meter is low. And once it's low, that's when you want to put out the. That's when you want to fire all the missiles. Because if you fire the missiles right away, right when you put out the Hulkbuster. Uh, it will use up the whole intrinsic meter or most of it. So you kind of just want to keep, keep hitting melee and then uh, once it's very, very low, that's when you fire out all your missiles. Uh, 
So for me, for Iron Man, I would really boost up your rockets in the beginning and a little bit of that defensive barrier shield once your rockets are fully powered with all the skills you need. Um, and then for gear, eventually, in the beginning, you don't, for gear, you don't really want to be picky with it. You just want to keep leveling up with whatever it gives you. Uh, that way, you keep getting better gear. So just the highest powered gear you get. Eventually, when you do hit 130 gear, that's when you get to be picky. And with Iron Man, I try at least when I can. Uh, I try to get any gear with precision. That way, my damage is much higher. As you can see from my uh, minor artifacts, I, I, I fortunately got two minor artifacts with just double precision. And it just gives... But I don't like the perks of them that much. I'm still kind of looking for a better one that has good precision and better perks uh, as far as the minor artifact. For the major artifact, I just... The only reason I'm using this Tacticon is because it gives Might and Valor. I just... I just As compared to the others, I don't know. I, I figured why not just give a boost with the skills as well. Uh, at the same time, it gives the status damage uh, attacks uh, a, a plus to it. So this is what I use just for that. I don't know if there are builds out there that are able to use the other major artifacts, but for all my heroes, I just use this one. Uh, and then again, for these, I just try to find something when I can. In, uh, I just try to find something with precision. So for that, I got precision. For this, I do. For this, this, was the, my, this is my one exotic item. I really like it, but sadly it doesn't have precision, so I'm kind of bummed out about that, but... This is my one exotic that got dropped when I did that 14th floor hive. So, yeah. Uh, but And again, with this one, I have precision. So for gear, eventually when you get to 130, I eventually choose precision gear. And then, yeah, so you get to one-hit a lot of the, the lower-tier enemies. And then, you know, uh, the mid-range enemies, you get to hit them twice and they're dead. Uh... And that's it. So I think that's the main things to talk about with Iron Man. Uh, yeah. So hopefully that helps out with your build. Please do comment below. Of course, this is my build. I'm sure there are many other builds that are better or just as wonderful as this. Uh, so please do comment below. Uh, let me know what's your build for Iron Man, how you've built him up, and, and what are your favorite skills that you use so that maybe I can try them out as well. Or comment below on who you do use, who your main one is, and how you use them. I will be making other videos on the other Avengers uh, pretty soon, so uh, just do stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is my Iron Man build, and hopefully it helps you out with yours. Uh, anyway, if this video did help you out in any w way, shape, or form, please do leave a comment below. Please do hit the like button. Please do share it. And most importantly, please do hit that subscribe button. Again, my name is Vince from Wimplays. And hope that was good for you too. I'll see you guys next time.